Hi everyone, welcome to the question of the week. I'm Dr. Alvarez and this week we will talk about how big your stomach is after surgery, after the gastric sleeve surgery. This is a very frequent question and it, it's kind of similar to last week's question where we talked about uh, how much liquid or how much food your stomach can hold, especially right after surgery. This is totally different and this is a question I get frequently and I see it on boards online when people talk about or compare themselves to somebody else's surgery or stomach or sleeve and uh, they, uh, they, they uh, start wondering well why can I eat less or why can I actually eat more than that other person. And it's very important you understand this and this varies from patient to patient um, varies from technique to technique uh, okay but let's say we do the same surgery by the same surgeon by the same bougie size or calibration tube and it's still going to be uh, different from one person to the next, okay? Uh, let me demonstrate here with uh, uh, some uh, scale size models that we're, we're going to do here. Alright, so what we have here are two scale size stomachs. Let's say what we have here is patient A and patient B. Uh, both patients may actually have the same weight, let's say uh, 300, 350 pounds or 250 pounds. Um, they both weigh the same, uh, they're the same height but uh, the stomachs vary uh, and this is actually normal we see uh, this is a uh, variance in, in a normal anatomy and uh, let's say patient A has a, a smaller stomach here now I'm gonna open here uh, patient A's stomach here and so you can actually see the whole stomach here and this is patient's, patient's B stomach okay so imagine here this patient gets sleeved and whatever limits the size here is or the capacity of the stomach is actually from the uh, this is sphincter here which is the union with your esophagus and your stomach here uh, this is called the lower esophageal sphincter and this from here to your exit of your stomach which is your pylorus valve down here this is the capacity of your stomach okay now let's say this this patient will actually hold uh, let's say four ounces and that same day patient B got surgery with same surgeon, same calibration tube and everything and of course this capacity will be much greater because from point A to point B this area right here will be greater and the stomach will actually hold more even though you use the same calibration tube okay so that's actually a really good example you can actually see Two, uh, two stomachs uh, sizes uh, from two patients weighing the same amount and of course this patient will actually be able to eat a little bit more let's say six ounces this other patient let's say four ounces so I hope this was useful and uh, helpful with uh, this week's question uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel you can send me uh, your questions directly to this uh, link that will appear here on the screen and uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. You can send me the questions through there. Come directly to my inbox. All right. So uh, have a great week, and we'll see you next week with the question of the week. Thanks for following us.